What's going on YouTube IDTL yet again and if you haven't seen my last video make sure you check it out link will be in the description and annotation in the video talking about how I am officially done with video game reviewing I'm sorry guys I'm done with it I explained it in the video so make sure you go check that out now as I said at the end of the last video I would be talking about some watchdogs and how in my opinions and how I feel on it not a review because I haven't even beat the game but uh, just how I feel about it and uh, as of right now I've got a couple hours in on it and yeah give you guys some uh, you guys some some leveling if that makes sense but anyway getting into watchdogs now as we all know Watch Dogs had just a horrendous launch. Now, I'm not talking sales wise because it's so great. I didn't pull no GTA 5 numbers, but it's so, I believe it's the best selling Ubisoft game of all time. And that says a lot because Ubisoft has dropped shitloads of games, shitloads of great games. But what I'm talking about is this that punk ass service error from Uplay. Why the fuck does you play exist? Now, right as of right now, I believe it's corrected and whatnot. For me, it is, at least for the PC. Uh, I'm able to log in. I'm able to get into my game and play and get on multiplayer and all that other good shit. And it's all good. But, man, you cannot, you cannot unleash some unprepared shit like that. I understand the servers mash out or, you know, get full quick as shit when something releases. It's like a snap of the finger. As soon as the game come out, the servers are going to fill up like crazy. But you got to be prepared for shit like that. And I think you play. I think y'all just need to nerf that shit. Just, just fucking get rid of it. Put your games on Steam. Swallow your pride. And do it for the gamers, man. Shit. I know you're trying to keep the money in your pocket. But fuck that. Do it for the gamers. Of course, they're not going to listen. They're not even going to hear this video. But I'm just saying. But yeah. Aside from that, getting into the actual game of Watch Dogs, there is a couple of problems, and I can at least speak for the PC version. Now, as you guys know, I'm running an AMD graphics card, it's R9270X, and it's more than enough to max out, not max out, but, uh, you know, set to high settings in uh, Watch Dogs. Now, yes, max out in Watch Dogs, but for some reason, it's just not working that good. <laughs> Obviously, Watch Dogs caters more to NVIDIA products than it does AMD. And uh, that you, you can see that just by looking at the damn box of the game or just looking at the beginning where they, you know, say that this is an AMD. This is made for AMD. I mean, not AMD. This is made for NVIDIA. And shit like that, you know, I always hated shit like that. When you optimize a game more for one uh, graphics card than another, one, one more GPU than another, as far as you know companies that make it it's pretty fucked up because it really sets the other uh, GPU maker on the back burner you know what I'm saying so like if you have a Nvidia card and say you buy Battlefield 4 which is AMD optimized and you're gonna be set on the back burner a little bit but the thing is with Watch Dogs it's fucking up for every GPU now AMD is getting the worst of it but everybody's having a problem with it we're having horribly optimized fucking um frame rates it's just every the frame rate just drops at the most random time and, and that shit is just annoying that still at least for me has not been fixed and i know i have a car capable it's not no a gtx 690 or anything like that or a titan or even a r9 uh, 290 but it's a great graphics card, especially for games that are coming out right now. It's capable. It's very capable. And to see it not performing well sucks ass. But I know that it's not my hardware. It's more of how the game is optimized. We had the same problem with past Ubisoft games uh, on PC, such as Assassin's Creed 4, Assassin's Creed 3. I mean, the only games they really got right in the, in the past is really Far Cry 3 and Splitter Cell Blacklist. Those two worked well with PC, at least for me it did. But uh, when you release a game as major as Watch Dogs, then your lead, lead platform is the PC. And it shows like this, you're really dropping the ball. You know what I'm saying? Even if you do end up correcting every little problem that was wrong with it, still, you cannot release a game that's not finished. I mean, you had months to fucking, <laughs> you had months. You, you delayed the game. 
for God knows what. Obviously, I guess it wasn't for PC optimizations. I know they downgraded the graphics, but come on, man. And Uplay just has to fucking go. It just does not need to exist anymore. We don't need three major fucking uh, clients. <laughs> we don't need Steam, Origin, and Uplay, okay? Or whatever else is out there. I, I already don't like Origin, but I deal with it. And it's not even as shitty as Uplay, thank God. But I deal with it. Steam has always been great to me. I haven't had a problem with it yet. If everybody would just work with Steam, shit would be great. But of course, everybody has their money. I mean, has their hand in the fucking money jar. They want a piece of that pot. Any way they can get it. And that sucks because we have to suffer from shit like this. You know what I'm saying? But hey, what can you say? Now, getting into the actual, actual game of Watch Dogs. I'm really enjoying it, okay? The, the story is a little bit spotty so far. I'm hours in, about six hours in, and I know it's an extremely long game, and I've been playing it here and there. I haven't been consistently playing it, but from what I have played, it's great. I like the controls and whatnot. Now, the driving... <laughs> Here's how I play. So every time you see me drop a Watch Dogs gameplay, even the one that's going to be in the background of this video, I'm playing... When I'm walking, I'm using mouse and keyboard. When I'm driving, I'm using that controller. As soon as I get in the car, I pick up the PS4 controller that I have link, you know, you know, the little mod and shit you can do. You have your PS4 controller linked to your PC. I do that because driving with mouse and keyboard in any game, and especially this one, is hard as shit. There's no control of acceleration. You're either going to go or you're going to stop. And it's just like that, you know. You can't control your actual speed unless you tap it, which is tedious as fuck. So I just use the controller for that. Now, as far as ground controls and whatnot, using mouse and keyboard for that is real fun. This is the first game that I've actually used for a uh, first open world game that's, you know, sort of, you know, like in that sandbox GTA style that I've actually used with mouse and keyboard. When I had GTA 4, I was all a controller back then. I hated using mouse and keyboard. But now I'm using it and it's actually pretty great. I like it a lot. It's just I wish the driving was somehow easier. But I know with mouse and keyboard, it's kind of it's always going to be a hit and miss for any driving game. Same goes for shit like, you know, like Need for Speed or or uh, any game that releases Racing Grid, you know. And yeah, Codemaster games, all this shit. But yeah, as far as gameplay wise, it's pretty nice. It's nice. I wish it was more optimized. The story is cool. I like it so far, you know, it's, a, it's basically a revenge story. We've all seen this before, but the way it's told is nice. The city is nice. The graphics, of course, you couldn't, if anybody expected this to look like the E3 2012 a demo, yeah, you kind of fuck yourself. Or the 2013 demo, I can't remember what year. You kind of fucked yourself <laughs> because I knew that wasn't going to happen, especially after they, they pushed the date back yet again, and then they confirmed it. With the graphical downgrade uh, not too long before the release. You have to expect this shit, man. Come on. It's not going to look... Yeah, the same shit happened with Assassin's Creed 3. That game look, still looks better in that E3 demo than it does in the actual game. But yeah. Like, like I said, especially with Ubisoft, you got to take their showcasing with a, game, with a, grain, of the, <laughs> a grain of salt. The only game I think that's going to live up to is graphical proportions is that new uh, Splitter Cell, The Division. I hope they don't downgrade it because they did push it back again. But, ah, God, I hope that shit lives up to its graphical proportion because if it does, it's going to be one of the best-looking games to release so far, at least from, you know, now standards. Yeah, as far as Watch Dogs, I'm enjoying it so far. It's not a bad game. And uh, if you're getting it on PC, make sure you think long and hard. Especially and make sure you you know what is in your PC because if you have AMD graphics of any sorts is you're gonna kind of be in the, uh, the back seat now even with Nvidia graphics any GTX or anything it's still gonna be tough for you because the game is not completely optimized graphically and uh, you're gonna get frame rate drops because I have tested this on not only my R9 270X but also my buddies uh, I think GTX 750 Ti you know, the little one that, you know, they made specifically for games like Titanfall and shit in the next generation. And he is, he's having problems with his shit too as far as uh, frame rates dropping and whatnot. 
And even it don't matter what settings you put it on, it could be low as possible. The frame rates just drop. It's just not optimized properly. And I hate that because this is a major game. But as far as that, that is pretty much the only graphical problem I've been running into is aside from a couple of glitches. Like in the first mission where you're in the uh you're in a Met Stadium. I'm not Met Stadium, but the Cub Stadium. And you knock I knocked this one security officer into the wall and his head was just there and his body was just hanging out like a fucking pole just sticking out the that shit was funny as hell. I'll probably upload the photo and put it in the video. But anyway, other than that, there is a couple of graphical issues and whatnot. And uh yeah, besides from that shitty ass launch, the game is pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. The multiplayer is pretty good. And uh yeah. It's pretty damn good. It's a, it's a nice game. It's a good game to have, especially with next gen consoles. I'm presuming because you know there's not much out for next gen consoles. So if you need, you're on the fence about buying Watch Dogs for next gen consoles, you can either take my word for it. For what I think, I think it would be a good buy, or you can go look at somebody who's actually who actually has the next gen copy for a console platform. As far as PC, like I said, it's going to depend on what you're running. It's also going to depend on if you can tolerate these frame drops, which are not drastic. You're only going to notice them when you're doing a lot of fast paced shit like driving. But it, they are they are there is basically what I'm saying. But yeah, dropping that video for you guys. Pretty much an impressions review, if you want to call it that. But this is IDCL. Make sure you stay tuned. More videos to come. A lot more shit going down. A lot more shit going down. This is IDCL and I'm out. Peace.